Uh, one couple things to note about gears and pulleys. If you have two pulleys together, basically you drive them with a belt. Um, and you see the directions of rotation on the pulleys are the same, right? If one goes forward, one, go one goes with it. They both rotate either counterclockwise or clockwise in this case. With gears, on the other hand, when you mate your gears together, just as an example, they e one goes clockwise and the other goes counterclockwise. So it's just something to note. If you want a reverse rotation, I could put an idler in between these two guys and it would pretty much, I don't know if that shows up in the camera or not, but yeah, it can pretty much reverse rotation like that. It's a very crude way of showing it, but just to, to give you an idea of what we do. Okay, great. Okay. Example of some of the various mechanisms and products that we offer. Uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, what I'll do is it's a sample assembly. And right now we have a hand crank turning this, but you could also attach this to a motor or another shaft or something with a coupling. Uh, starting right here, what we see is a bevel gear assembly. So we have, this gear can be either the driver or the driven gear, this large one here. And the uh, same goes for this small one here. You can drive backwards with this, this sort of setup. It's mainly for a right angle type of drive system. Over here, we have a coupling connecting this gear to this shaft in here. What you see along the area here in here are different bearing holders and um, shaft holders. Uh, moving right along over here, what we have is a pulley arrangement. Uh, we have a small pulley and driving a large pulley here. And the same thing goes here. We can drive in reverse with this pulley setup. Moving right along over here, we have a chain and sprocket setup. We can see this chain is supported on a sprocket underneath here. That sprocket drives this sprocket over here, so you can transfer motion from one shaft to the other. Moving on to this side, this is what we call a Geneva mechanism. This is a, sort of an intermittent, intermittent motion type setup. So as I rotate this shaft here, the indexing key comes around, engages one of the slots here, and rotates this uh, one increment. Uh, in this case, an increment is, I think, uh, 60 degrees. It's a pretty neat uh, device here, and relatively simple. Moving along downstream here, we have a spur gear. This is a standard type of gear that we make here. This large spur gear is driving a smaller gear, and the same thing holds here. You can drive forward and reverse with this type of gear setup. All along this assembly, you see different types of collars, shafts, bearing holders, housings, bearings themselves. Uh, these are all in our catalog. Finally, in this area here, we see a helical gear setup. If you look, this, you can see the teeth are not straight, but they are actually at an angle to the gear. If you look over here on the side, this large gear is driving a smaller gear, which in turn drives a counter. So, and in this case, you can also go forward and reverse.